Welcome to Columbia, Missouri, Memorial Stadium and home to the Missouri Tigers, where we are anticipating quite a clash on Faroe Field today. What we have in store for you today, a clash between a couple of SEC teams that could have season-long ramifications. As we'll see, the Alabama Crimson Tide taking on the 20th ranked team in the land, the Missouri Tigers. For EA Sports College Football, Reese Davis with you alongside David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. Time to get this game started. Here he comes from inside his own five. Nice job executing all of the assignments as they put a stop to that return at the 22. So the Missouri Tigers offense will get the first possession of the game. And here he is, one of the best receivers in the game, and he just commands attention, both from the defense and from the fans. Yeah, he's a guy you gotta keep your eye on, and you're gonna see him line up all over the field in this game. He can play in the slot, he can play out wide, he can run the entire gamut in the route tree as well. Really nothing this guy can't do. Solid run, picks up six and gets it to the 28. Well, it's plays like that that'll help this offense stay in rhythm all game long. If you can have that kind of success on first down running the football, it just opens up your entire playbook moving forward. Out of the gun, the running back has it. He maybe gets a yard. They'll mark him at the 29. You know, runs like this oftentimes are like a boxer in a boxing match. Obviously, it's not a knockout punch, but these are body blows. And as the game goes on, these small gains are going to turn into longer runs. They'll try to muscle their way forward on third and short from the 29. Fast motion from the offense. Quick touch pass to the receiver. Showing off the arm. He's run out of bounds, but he's got enough to move the sticks. And the Tigers will have it first and ten. Using the quick game. In college football, you see this a ton now. You use a quick passing game, basically as the running game. Get a few yards, get your offense ahead of the sticks, keeps it on pace for success. Second down coming up. On, boy. One step wrap, two step squeeze. This junior knows how to get him on the ground. Yeah, it's a nice job by this defense. Understand, listen, that QB is a threat. And they're going to run all kinds of options. And he's going to run the football. They were dialed in and got that sucker to the ground. They convert on third down as he gets it to the 46 yard line. Man down on the play as the officials take a break to let him be checked out. Hey. Missouri comes to the line with another first down. Use the play fake, now to throw. Blasted as he lets it go. Hit hard just as he released it on first down and just couldn't get it to the receiver. They'll operate out of split backs. Hand off from the gun. Looks as if we have an injury on that last play and we'll take a break to check him out. Eighth play on this opening drive coming up and they need a third down conversion. From the gun, wants to pass. Working that left side now. He's run out of bounds, but a big play on that one, and it'll be a first down. Fresh set of downs after the completion. 
Good job by the receiver there not to run into coverage, but to find a spot that the quarterback can throw in the ball. Yeah, on those types of routes, Reese, they say if you're looking, you're booking. So if that's man coverage, the receiver staring at the quarterback all the way across the field, that time the receiver didn't give the quarterback his eyes, so they were on the same page. They both knew it was zone, and they executed that perfectly. From the gun, they'll give it on the inside. Man, a nice second effort by the back to break a tackle. But how about those defensive backs willing to come up, stick their face in the fan, and make a tackle? Those are the best run defenses, too, right? It's not just D linemen and linebackers getting all the plays, but it's DBs that are willing to not just cover, but tackle backs in the open field. Snagged in the middle. It's Rodgers. That completion takes them down to the seven-yard line, and they are ready to strike. The terrain gets rough this deep in the red zone. Third down, they can't pick up the first without scoring. They'll try to move the chains on the ground. They make the tackle just outside the end zone, but it'll be first and goal from the one. And this offense has really gotten to a nice rhythm here on their opening drive of the game. Running the ball, getting it down now into a goal-to-go situation. They really... Just keep feeding. A first down for the offense. Use the play fake now to throw. Taking a shot on the first play. He's got it inside the 30. And he'll take this into the end zone, but hang on just a second. Flag down. Let's see what this is about. That celebration turned sour quickly after they saw that flag, and it wiped out the big play and the touchdown. Offense set on first down. Here's the snap, looking to throw. Using the back as a receiver on the screen. And he'll run across the sidelines after the good game. One of the things I love about this offense is they're very versatile in their passing attack. They throw to receivers and tight ends. And the screen game is big as well. This guy is a weapon. You're seeing that here early. Here comes the offense on second down. He's looking to throw. Caught over the middle. It's O'Neal. And the defense had that one well covered. Just a short game there. I'll say this, man. In college football, you see a lot of bad tackling. You didn't see it right there. That was an awesome job. First off, being there at the point of attack, once the tight end made the catch, there was no doubt he was going down. Great job, form tackle. Fires to the middle. Oh, he just flat dropped it. He had the ball and didn't look it all the way in, and it'll be fourth down. Looks as if the Tide will punt it away. Getting our first look of the afternoon at the punter. Tries to find a little more running room on that return, but he'll be stopped at the 36. Missouri has the offense ready to go on the field. Really good balance on that last drive. They mix it up all over the place, Jesse. Yeah, how nice, too, to have the defense on their heels because at this point, they don't know what's coming at them. They had problems stopping everything that last drive did. So I think this defense would come back with a little more aggressiveness. I mean, they let them have what they wanted. Now they got to dictate to this offense a little bit. Quarterback trying to attack the middle of the field. I like the aggressive nature, but his receivers aren't nine feet tall. No one's going to catch that. No one can climb the ladder. You got to bring it down a little bit. They'll go back to work after the incompletion. Here's second and 10 from the 36. Going to run it. It's King. All right, well, the offense here, they're trying to get this run game established. They obviously don't break off a long run there, but they're just trying to find their footing at this point. They line up with some serious work to do if they want to convert this one. On third and long, he has to throw for it. And it's incomplete despite some serious... Poor starting field position here for this offense. Quickly on the left. 
They get him down after he makes the catch. Quarterbacks love the short passing game early in games because it really helps them get into a rhythm. So a nice job by the offensive coordinator giving his quarterback an easy throw, something he can see, and something that he knows he can complete. Give to the running back. They make the stop, but there is a flag on the field. We'll see what that's all about. Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. Holding penalties, the ultimate drive killer. We'll see if it costs this offense here. Okay, now on second down. He's looking to throw. He's right on target. And he's knocked down, but there's also laundry on the field. We'll see what the officials have called. The officials offer the deal, and the coach accepts it. They will take the penalty. And now on second down for this offense. He's looking to throw. The receiver was doubled, and they picked it off. And he's brought down, and this defense gets the ball back for its own. Well, the offense turns it over, and talking to their coaching staff before this game, they talked about how important it was to have good ball security and not give the opponent extra possessions. That time, poor decision by the quarterback, and the defense made them pay. Mizzou has it back in the offense coming out on the field. After a punt on their last possession, they are set up in plus territory this time. And honestly, it wouldn't have mattered if they scored a touchdown in their last possession. You've got to be able to turn the page and see this is a brand new opportunity to go get points. Yeah, and your defense has set you up for the position to get points right away. Now, let's get this offense back rolling again. Create some... And he takes it to the house. Touchdown, Tiger. Another rushing touchdown. That's now two on the game. This offense thought they could come into this one running the ball, being the more physical team, and they look like it right now. This should be the last play of the quarter. Wants to throw on first down off the play fake. Didn't have much of a choice there but to get rid of it. After the incompletion, it's second and 10 from their own 25. He's looking to throw. The pass falls incomplete, and that'll be the final play of this quarter. That's the end of the quarter, and Missouri has the lead. Really strong performance so far to be able to build a lead here in the first period as we look at the stats. This could be a pivotal moment in this game as we open the second period, and they try to find a way to answer. Now facing a third down as they come back to the line after the break. From the gun, wants to pass. Grabbed in the middle, it's O'Neal. He gets it oh so close to the first down marker, but I think he's going to be a touch short. Alabama will bring the punt team on the field. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. Let's see what he can do with it. Missouri has the offense ready to go on the field. They've jumped on them, executing at a high level and up 14-0, David. This is the exact start you want. I mean, the offense is playing great. Defense has gotten stops. You're in a position now, Palmer, to put the hammer down and get a three-possession lead. I'm really impressed with their physicality on both sides of the ball early in this one. They've been winning in the trenches. So here on offense, keep running the football and show your dominance. 
off play action. Getting some heat. The junior quarterback frustrated with himself after throwing it behind his man. There's a lot of QBs that when they get hit and when they get hurried and when they get pressured, they become very average. Really nice job by the defense pressuring the quarterback. On third and long, try to convert through the air. Grabbed in the backfield, it's King. Really strong job by the defense. A negative play on third down. Missouri will have to send out the punt team. That first punt was a beauty. They'd take another one just like it. Tries to find a little more running room on that return, but he'll be stopped at the 36. The tied offense rolls onto the field. The lead's not insurmountable just down 14-0, but David, you don't score here, and it could get a little tricky fast. If you don't score here, if you don't possess the football and put something together to give your defense a little bit of a blow, it's not the ideal start. But it ain't like this game's late in the football game. Create some momentum here in the second quarter. Yeah, momentum's a real thing in college football. This team needs the juju to get going. That first quarter is one they love to forget, so find your best playmakers now. Get them isolated, get them the football, and let them go to work. Fires to the big fella. They make the stop, trying to pick up just a little bit at a time to get to that first down mark. Well, a nice completion there, finding the tight end. And what's so beautiful about that is while they didn't get the first, they were able to pick up enough yards now to make the third down manageable, really putting this offense in a good position. They're trying to slow that rush down with the draw. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. The Crimson Tide will bring the punt team on the field. Takes it on the return. And the coverage team able to wrestle him down. Man down on the play as the officials take a break to let him be checked out. Mizzou has it back in the offense coming out on the field. They wanted to set the tone, strike quickly. Jesse, they've done exactly that, up two touchdowns. And this quarterback has been dialed in, too. He's been so good reading coverage, going to where the open guy is with the football. And they've been up and down the field, David, so far. And this defense needs to make something happen right now. I mean, you've already given up a couple touchdowns. Your offense has got nothing going. Still early in the game. Get a stop. Create some momentum for your offense. And you can forget running in the middle against this defense. They'll line up for a second down play. He's looking to throw. Working the middle, it's complete. And how about that catch and run? So dangerous, this guy. All right, defense, it ain't working, right? They're stringing together several first downs here. We're going to need to change this up, find something we can disrupt the quarterback and, and mess up this offense a little bit. Trying to find his man on first down. It's caught. Slips a tackle, and he's got room. He's into the open down the middle. Slippery slide. Find his way and ran away from the crowd into the end zone. Touchdown, Tiger. They want to finish the season strong, and man, are they doing that here in this Week 11 performance. One of the reasons this offense is so exciting to watch, they've got guys that are dangerous after the catch. If this quarterback gets through his progression, David, hits you in stride, these guys will take it to the house. Man, it's your job to do the rest, right? You hit me in stride where I don't have to stop running, I don't have to break down. It makes it so easy, the connection between quarterback, wide receiver. You can tell this is a good one, and that's why they got six on that play. Here comes that Alabama offense. They've got nothing done so far, and they already find themselves in a three-possession hole, Jesse. Yeah, and as a head coach, you're wondering, what didn't I say? What didn't I do to get my team ready to go? Because we look like we're sleepwalking at this point, David. Yeah, nothing went well in the first quarter. You just say refresh. Like, let's try to find a way now, chip into this lead, try to make it somewhat manageable when you get to the half. And he could not get loose on the run. How about the defender being a heat-seeking missile? He was on radar lock. He found the football and flew down.
down with some bad intentions. They got nothing on the last play at second and ten. He's looking to throw. He makes the connection. And he was just a couple of steps away from taking that one even further after the catch. Every good quarterback is first a game manager. At Alabama, that used to be sort of a, a label of derision, but now they're not only that, they're playmakers. Yeah, and it's what they used to ask them to do. Like, like they were very comfortable handing the ball off, running the ball, controlling the clock, you know, trying to keep your defense fresh. Nah, bro. If you can't score points now, if you can't get first downs and go get me touchdowns, you're not going to be on the field. Picked up two yards on that last one. They need eight on second down. Give to the back. And offenses want to continue to feature the run they want. Super successful. You can take it a little bit at a time just to keep that defense honest. It's third down now, and they ought to be able to get off one more play before the two-minute warning. We've made our way to the two-minute warning, and now they'll try to at least cut a little something off of this lead before the break. If they can convert here, that type of play can really give you a shot of momentum. On third down, he drops to throw. And the defense is all over the quarterback, and down he goes. Timeout is called, and it's the defense wanting to make sure that everyone's on the same page for this big down. A fairly short distance here toward the sidelines, not his best work. Missouri has the offense ready to go on the field. First play of this drive comes from the 27. They're going to throw it to start the drive. A little screen to the running back. He is going nowhere. Stop at the line of scrimmage. They're just trying to sneak the back out to the right side there, but great job tackling on defense against a guy who's hard to bring down once he has the ball in his hand. He wants to pass it on second down. And this is dropped. Incomplete pass. He had a huge game in his fingers, and he couldn't hold on. Third down conversions, always a huge stat. And they've got a third and long from the 27. Trying to make magic with his feet. At midfield, he's got room. And he has vexed this defense with scramble after scramble. Has another first down. Mizzou coming out with a fresh set of downs. Here's the handoff. You'll take this every time. Five yards on the first down play. Well, this offense came into the game knowing they wanted to be physical. They wanted to establish the line of scrimmage. And they're running downhill right at this defense. And they're churning out positive yardage early. He's back to throw on second down. Finds a crease at the 20. And he scoots his way to the first down and then slides to avoid the hit. They've marched to the red zone, and here they go. Intercepted! A turnover for the defense. Taking it the other way. Pass to 30. The 10. Touchdown tie! Just enough time for one final play in this half. To the air on first down. He fires a bullet to the right. 
Pass is incomplete, and that's going to do it for the first half. That's the end of the second quarter. That means it's time to join Kevin in our halftime update. The tied offense rolls onto the field. Down two possessions to start this third quarter. They'd love to build some early momentum. You ain't lying, because you only got so many possessions here in the second half, so now you're... Gonna let it fly. And that one falls incomplete. They tried to go over the top on first down. Second down coming up. Nice job in coverage there. Offense trying to take a shot downfield. The defender able to tip that one up in the air and force it incomplete. On second down, they'll take to the air. Makes a connection. And the explosive play, and they're on the move all the way to the 44. Alabama quickly back to the line. Alabama may always be built on the run, but these days they elevate with a high-flying pass game. And great coaches evolve. And we've seen the evolution of this Alabama offense over the last several years. And it's not just run. It's not just eat clock. It is be aggressive, attack, make big plays down the field. The run game just has not been working for this offense all game long. We saw it on that last play as well. Just not getting enough push up front on the offensive line. They haven't been physical. He wants to throw here on second down. They're setting up the screen. And he was fortunate not to lose yardage on that play, able to wedge it back to the line of scrimmage. Third and long, and he'll try to throw for it. Pocket starts to collapse. That pass not close as he got thrilled trying to deliver it, and it'll bring up fourth down. Looks as if the Tide will punt it away. They may have to pay him overtime. He's punting for the fifth time today. The punt goes out of bounds, and a nice job to get them backed up. I think they'll spot it right around the 15. Mizzou has it back in the offense coming out on the field. Looking for a productive play on first down. They'll run it from the gun. That may not look like a huge run, but they'll take it as it gets them up to the 24. I know it's sexy to throw the football, but if you can pound it away and get these kind of gains, they will just add up, wear the defense down, get first downs, and ultimately get some points. He's run out of bounds, but not before. Turning in a big pickup and moving the sticks for a first down. Nice job there by the receiver on the out route, not telegraphing where he's going. He can't be peeking to the outside, giving the defender an opportunity to break on the ball. He kept his eyes right down the field. DB had no idea where he was going, and that helped make that completion a whole lot easier. Line getting set on second down. He's looking to throw. He'll try to do it himself. Nifty little scamper on this one. Enough for the first down, and he slides in safely. It's just so nice as a coaching staff when you've got quarterbacks who make good decisions. And on a second and short play, you're throwing it. You're trying to catch the defense napping. You might take a shot. Nothing there. Go get it yourself. Make the right decision to keep it, not panic, and get you a fresh set of downs. Looking to move it through the air. Unloads to the wideout. Nice defensive play to get a hand in there and knock it away. Yeah, and a really good job by the defender. Understanding the ball's coming. I got to break on it and go. And not try to intercept it and make a bad play. He swats it down and makes sure that's an incompletion. Open space at the 25. Picks up the first down and gets down to avoid contact. The Tigers come to the line with a new set of downs. From the red zone, looking for a receiver. And he was hit just as he was releasing the pass, and it falls to the ground incomplete. It doesn't take this defense a lot of time to get to the quarterback, man. They've got speed all over the place. They hit him so quickly, and because of that, the ball falls incomplete. They run the reverse. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. For an offense, to make the wide receiver reverse work, you've got to have a lot of guys doing a good sell job. Running backs have to behave as if they're actually going to keep the football, and everybody else on offense has to be yelling out, 
run to try to make the defense over for Sue, but no Oscars being handed out on the field. Pass rush, get there, get home, get. Here comes the offense on first down. He'll pull it on the read. Makes him talk to the hand. Design quarterback runs. There's so many of them, so many ways to do it. But either way, it's about getting that extra blocker and getting a dynamic athlete. These quarterbacks are all dynamic athletes. They're basically running backs now playing quarterback, trying to get them in space. And you can see he does the rest. He can chew up those yards quick, fast, and in a hurry. He was running through. the first down and finally got knocked down. It'll be a first down from the 49-yard line. He'll do it himself. And he's tackled, but there's also a flag on the field. Let's see what the call is. So the decision has been made, and the coach will take the penalty. On first down, here comes this offense. He's looking to pass. The quick out. Nice job there. Good timing between the QB and the wide receiver executing that out. This offense has a second down play. Running back goes in motion. On second down, wants to throw it. Caught in the backfield, it's Crowder. He's brought down quickly, minimal gain there, still a bit short of the first down. Looks as if we have an injury on that last play, and we'll take a break to check him out. Guys, this offense is already reeling down. Multiple possessions really need to cash in on this drive. Quarterback on the keeper. Now they're really starting to threaten as they pick up the first down at the 34-yard line. Man down on the play as the officials take a break to let him be checked out. Just inside the 35, first and 10 from the 34. The give to the back. He rumbles ahead for six inside the 30 to the 28-yard line. Six-yard pickup on first down leaves him with second and four. They'll move the running back to try to force the defense to adjust. All kinds of room to throw that one in there. Touchdown, Crimson! The offense set for a first down play. Convoy. Lasso. Lasso. Yep. Yep. Okay. He'll keep it himself. Nowhere to run on that one. He loses four on the carry. Really, really nice football play. Man, I got to understand option football. I got to play my responsibility, make sure that I know what I'm doing. Look at the linebacker. Great job doing that. Staying patient getting to the quarterback, making the big tackle. He's got his man. They've got him down at the 40 after he ripped off 15 yards. Now from the 40, it's first and 10. Going to try to get it himself. He's brought down, but not before he turned that into a positive play and picked up a few on the run. He does a really good job being decisive, getting downhill, being a great runner. And guess what? You know how easy offense is when you get me at second and short, second and medium? Everything in the playbook is open to him. He goes out of bounds after the big play, but there is a penalty marker on the field. Let's see what that one's about. Amazing how many times an offensive holding penalty will stall a drive. We'll see if the offense can overcome it. 
as they get set to snap it. Time winding down here in the quarter. And they got him for the sack. A loss of six yards on the play. Brings up third down. That's the end of the quarter, and Missouri has the lead. And as we switch ends of the field, let's take a quick look at the national rankings. When you're dealing with a deficit like this, it's all about somebody stepping up to make a play, and you might as well start here in the fourth quarter. Now facing a third down as they line up after the break. He's looking downfield to throw. And that's incomplete. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. A little pre-snap eye candy for the defense. They make the stop right there. Good pickup. It's still short of the first down. Looks as if we have an injury on that last play, and we'll take a break to check him out. Got it. The big pickup on first down leaves them with second and one. He's looking to throw. Fires to the middle. And it's picked off. Going the other way, and he's got room. And they'll close in on him after a good return on the interception. It doesn't get any better for your defense. You know exactly the situation in the fourth quarter. Everything in your favor. Don't let them make big plays. How about you? Looking deep down the right side. And it slips through his fingers. Incomplete. That would have been a huge gain if he could have held on. The incompletion on first down leaves him with second and 10 from the 43. Hand off from the shotgun. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. It's going to be tough sledding for the offense here. They're trying to ice this game by running the football and bleeding the clock. They've got a pretty good lead here late in the game, but the defense knows the run's coming, right? So they're going to be loading the line of scrimmage, getting stops like what they just did. It'll be interesting to see what the offense does on this next one. They'll throw it to the back on the screen. Crosses the 30. He's got a lane. He will step out of bounds, but not before the big pickup and a first down for this offense. The Tigers come to the line with a fresh set of downs. They'll ride the running back and leave it with him. They'll make the stop, but he gets four on the play balls at the 25. Man down on the play as the officials take a break to let him be checked out. After the productive first down play, it's second and six. Running back searching for a hole. Finds a little bit of room. Give him a couple down to the 23. Here they come up to the 23-yard line, not thinking field goal, wanting to convert this third and short. Grab near the marker. It's Rodgers. Tackle is made after the first down. Missouri gets to the line quickly. From the gun, the running back has it. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. They're trying to run the football. There's just nowhere to go for the ball carrier inside. He tried to bounce it to the outside. That linebacker way too fast. He met him there and forced the TFL. Looking down the middle. And that one's incomplete. And this offense has gotten off to a good start on third down, but this is a different deal on third and long. Trying to get to him. And this sophomore able to... The offense lining up for a first down play. The back goes in motion. 
At the 35, he's loose. Big, big gain on that one as he stepped. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. I'll tell you, you cannot count this team out because of who's playing quarterback. When this guy's in the game, it's never over. Yeah, they're trailing here in the fourth quarter, but this dude can put up points quickly. Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. We'll repeat the previous down, but this time the offense has 10 more yards it has to cover. Line gets set, first down. Easy. Here's the snap, ready to cut one loose. Finds his tight end. And just a short, safe pass play, they pick up a few. I just get the feeling this defense is going to make it hard on them, right? They've got the lead, it's late, and they're going to try to tackle everybody inbounds. Offense is going to have to really work for this. Be smart. you got to attack the sidelines. You gotta throw first down. You gotta keep this thing moving vertically down the field. Got his man to the left. And this defense's head is spinning. He gets it down to the 27. They'll keep it on the ground. They make the tackle after he gets two down to the 25. The big defensive tackles in the middle, they're not always the best pass rushers, but they are strong, and I say country strong. They put their hands on you, you feel it. They lock people out on the line of scrimmage. They create separation. They wrap running backs up, and usually they don't get out of the midst of those. The officials offer the deal, and the coach accepts it. They will take the penalty. Offense gets set for second down. He's looking to throw. Grab behind the line. It's Crowder. And a good job in coverage there as they stop it after just a few. Alabama pushing the tempo. On third and long, he's going to have to throw for it. Touchdown, Bama! And here they... Hey. Offense getting set for first down. Slide 22. Hey. They'll keep it on the ground to keep this clock moving. Late in football games, I have a plan. I'm going to run the football. I want to put my quarterback in great situations if I do throw it. Low risk. Keep that clock moving. Get a few first downs. And if I get a few first downs with that clock moving, I get the W and get out of here. And they try the middle of this defense, and that is not happening. Wants to throw on third down. Makes the grab over the middle. Coming through with that third down conversion, and they'll mark it at the 43. First down here with time for maybe one more play until the two-minute warning. We've reached the two-minute warning in this offense, trying to milk this clock and keep time on their side. Missouri has it ready to go with another first down. He'll pull it on the read. Creating some space, getting just enough good blocking, and they've got it up to the 47-yard line. Quick timeout call by the defense, stopping the clock to save as much time as possible for their offense. They're in control. The clock is their friend. You'd have to expect another run here on second and six. A strong tackle and wrap-up from the junior. Defense uses a timeout quickly, trying to get that ball back and preserve time for their offense. Third and short now from their own 48. Under, under, under. Clear. Clear. From the gun, wants to pass. And he can't find anyone open, and down he goes. Hey. Time. On 
first down here for the offense. They'll crank up this drive with the pass. A little too much juice on that one from the junior. I love the decision by the quarterback. He found the open man, just don't love the throw. Got to be a little bit more accurate, make it easier on your target. And he got a hand in there, knocks it away incomplete. Now on third and ten, if they can move the chains here, maybe they can get this drive started. From the gun, wants to pass. Great move there. Really nice job there to pick up the first down and get it to their own 41. Clock stops momentarily for the first down. They'll hurry to the line. Going up top on first down. How about that play to get a hand in there and force the incompletion? They'll try again on second down after the incompletion. Now the play fake. Throws to the wideout. Tremendous win. Incomplete. The sideline and the ability to get the foot down for the big pickup. They've got a good chunk of ground to cover on third and long from the 41. Looking to throw it again. Feeling some heat. A deep throw as the clock winds down. And he's chased out of bounds, but not before he gets the first down, stops the clock, and has them on the move trying to get the late score. Ready? This offense is like running a perfection drill in practice against air. Chunk play after chunk play, and here they come again. That pressure got to him, and he just had to chuck it out of bounds. They'll spread the defense out, going five wide on second and ten. Couldn't connect on first down, now back to the air. Quick strike complete. Makes the tackle at the 23-yard line. Give him ten yards and enough for the first down. He's going to pass. Fires to the wideout. Soft spot in the middle. And tight coverage right there, but he makes the grab, and they've got it on the 11 and a red zone chance. Timeout called by the defense. It's their first of the half as they'll go to the sideline and try to make adjustments. It's first down from the 11. He's looking to throw it. Touchdown, Alabama! Somehow, they got up off the deck, and they got back in the game, and they're all tied up. Man, that drive right there is exactly what you dream about. That's how you want your offense to perform. Under a clutch situation, you take the ball down the field, get the score, and now an extra point away from taking the lead late in this ballgame. And that extra point was good, and now they have the lead in the fourth. And that one ought to help us build the drama down the stretch. Almost ready to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. The ball squirts through the end zone. That'll be a touchback. They'll bring it out to the 25. Missouri has the offense ready to go on the field. So the first order of business here, David, is don't knock yourself out of field goal range. Correct. Don't take the sack. Don't get a negative play. But if I can be aggressive, Palmer, I'm still trying to go to the end zone to get the immediate dub. And take as much pressure off of your kicker as you possibly can. You just got to wonder what he's thinking right now. Lots of pressure on him. Comes out throwing on first down. And it's incomplete. If you're going to take a hit like that, you might as well hang on to the ball. Man, that's a big missed opportunity for the running back. I'm trying to find ways to feature this guy and get him the football in space and not just hand it to him all the time. And I'll tell you what, I'm a lot less likely to find those plays if he can't reel in those catches. On the move at the 30. Touchdown, Missouri! And inside a minute to go, they've got the lead. I think one of the most underrated things we talk about with the QB is timing. Being able to get the ball out of his hands to his receiver where he can continue to catch the football and run with it. Nice pitch, nice catch, 
Nice play in the fourth quarter when you needed it for this team to take the lead. And he makes a catch. The two-point conversion is good. Now that they have the lead, this kickoff unit has to stay in their lane, create some field position, and hand it over to the defense. On the move from inside is five. And the returner goes down. No time to waste here. They've got to get set and pick up chunk yardage. They'll throw it on first down. And that's just a flat misfire, not even close to his receiver. They got to move quickly here. Still a chance, but they've got to force the ball down the field. On second down, he'll try to make the connection this time. And the sack all the way back at the five. On third and long, a check down would be the last resort. And down he goes. Had a chance to pull one out of the fire, and the defense slammed the brakes on it, and that's going to do it. Well, this was an offensive showcase out there today. We thought it would be a high-scoring game, and it certainly delivered. If you love offense, then you love this type of game. Both offenses going up and down the field, seemingly at will. Throwing the ball, running the ball. But, David, I feel like if you're a fan of defense, maybe this wasn't your cup of tea. Uh, more defense optional. <laughs> you didn't really get too much of that stuff, but, you know, listen... You gotta get a few stops late in the game. You gotta get one, actually just kind of one stop with this many points that was being scored. You got the stop late, that's why you got the dub. So that's gonna do it for us. For Jesse Palmer, David Pollock, I'm Reese Davis saying so long. This has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football.